think I got a little tanny raw inspired there. I have been watching 99% tanny raw on YouTube. Um, I've and I probably haven't even made a a, a little um, taken a little chunk out of the videos. She's got like 1,500 videos out there. Um, anyway. I think I've been kind of telling you guys about my Tanny Raw obsession lately, and I'll let it go for this one. Um, Monday, I want to talk about two things. Um, first of all, well, I guess they kind of mixed together. Okay, I'm going to talk about some stuff. Um, first of all, I finally had the opportunity to talk to my best friend today on Skype. I haven't seen her in a couple of weeks as she has just moved from Canada to England. I'm so excited for her, um, but I also miss um, having one of my best friends close by to hug it out and um, chat and have, you know, just hang out to be girls. Um, but I have been trying to nudge her. She's made a couple YouTube videos, but I, I've been trying to encourage her to share more of her experiences. Um, partly because I'm selfish and I want to see like, what is her life like? Um, but also it reminded me of, the conversation reminded me of uh, a book that I read years ago and a message that it had about if you're holding back something, you're, you know, you don't have the self-confidence to share it or whatever. Um, you're holding someone else back from the experience of learning that information or experiencing your energy or whatever it is. And I try to remember that. And maybe you're not missing out on this. Maybe you're watching this and this is doing nothing for you, but I'm sure it's I hope it's doing something for someone. At the very least, this video being out there is going to do something for me in the future. It's just a snapshot in time. Because I'd love to journal, but I don't journal as much as I should. And when I journal, I usually do like gratitude journaling. And it's so hard to tell. What did I look like? What did I sound like? What was my personality like? My attitude? I mean, compared yesterday to today is a world of difference. Um, so right now I'm kind of vibing. Today is the, uh, I would say one of the most intense days of the year and I'm almost through, so I'm feeling wicked. Um, today is the day where my teaching schedule winds up again. And in addition to that, I also had a new client today for a fascial stretch. So I had a, the stress of preparing for a new client that has some physical ailments that I've not dealt with before. So this is, you know, new territory that we're going to work through over the next couple of weeks. And I then immediately afterwards had to go to the university to teach my first week of the beginner's class and then my power class. And now I am on my way out to, um, I'm in farmland right now, as you can see. Um, I am driving country roads out in Binbrook, uh, heading to my final candlelight class, um, which I actually haven't been to in two weeks because last weekend I was away on canoe trip and it was a holiday here. Um, yeah, so why am I talking about this? Why was this such an intense day? Earlier today, I did not have the energy or focus to make a video. Um, I, even though I've taught, I added it up the other day, I have taught hundreds of yoga classes and I get stressed out. I don't know how many people are going to come, I don't know if my playlist is going to work out, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I, I kind of intuitively teach, I kind of just come up with my classes on the spot. And um, I mean, I never have a reason to stress, and this is kind of the the, the trickster uh, personality of anxiety, is that we get stressed about things that we don't need to be stressed about. And um, 
if there are things that maybe you're not someone who has anxiety, maybe you're not, maybe you aren't anxiety, but you have experienced that emotion around certain things. Maybe you're back to school and starting a new class where there's new people gives you anxiety. Like it, it really, like the, the feeling just comes over you like a cloak or something. Um, try to remind yourself. Try to remind yourself. No, it's let yourself feel that feeling. Allow yourself to feel what that feels like and remember what that feeling feels like. And afterwards you can reflect. Instead of trying to pretend that it's not there and ignore it, allow yourself to feel that feeling, which is something I tried to do today. And what I've been trying to do lately is really analyze my emotions, my feelings, what's going on. Um, feel that feeling, write it down. What are you experiencing? What are you worried about? No concern is stupid. Um, and then, after the fact, because you got to show up to class, or you got to show up to the new job, or you have to go grocery shopping, or whatever it is that stresses you out, and then afterwards, reflect again, and compare. Compare your emotion in the words. Compare the handwriting. My handwriting, my handwriting is like a friggin' mood ring. <laughs> um... But I guess I'm sharing this because it's something I'm learning right now. And we are best at teaching things that we've experienced ourselves. So even though I'm by no means an expert, I am working my way through these feelings of anxiety, these bottled up emotions, all of these waves. And I think that reflecting, being aware, being fully present to the emotions that are going on to the feelings and being able to compare before and after, um, it can really help you to realize that it's not as bad as you think in the first place. And maybe next time those anxiety feelings that come up are not as intense because you remind yourself, oh yeah. I get myself all wound up and it's not as bad. Yeah. So that's, um, that's my rambling. I hope that helps you. And if it doesn't help you, I know it's going to at least help me. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fabulous evening. And like always, comment down below. I'm going to be playing catch up tonight after my teaching is done. I will be playing catch up tonight with all of my the comments. And actually, I got a really big, long, beautiful email from one of you. Um, I have seen it all. So tonight I'm playing catch up. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.